Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run well, we're going to be having another look at one of those portable gaming devices and this is a uh, clone of the Game Boy Color. Now it's made in China and it's relatively cheap but it also plays Game Boy Color um, cartridges as well as having built-in games so that's kind of a plus there. Now it comes in various colors as you can see on the side and on that side. So anyway let's get in the box, see what we've got and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first things out of the box is a warranty card and a manual, but unfortunately both of them are not in English, they're in some sort of Mandarin language, so unfortunately we can't um, actually read the manual to give us instructions on how to operate the device, but suffice to say it seems pretty straightforward. Okay, and finally we've got the actual console itself, and as you can see, I've picked a yellow coloured one, and it's quite a striking colour, I quite like it. Now going around on the side, you've got an external port here, you've got a volume control, you've got a DC in port, so you can run it off mains, you've got a headphone jack, on this side you've got your on and off switch, on the top you've got some sort of infrared um, port which I don't know if actually works and then you've got your cartridge slot which does work um, on, and on the front you've got your full layout of buttons um, and on the back you've got the compartment for taking the batteries which I've already put in it didn't come included so if we switch this on um, we'll get a screen and it will come up with a, a load of games it says 188 in one but there are actually a lot of double ups here so there's not really 108 eight games on here there's quite a few less but it does give you a good selection of games so you can select any sort of game you want and bring it up that's on there so I've got Pac-Man now so if we start Pac-Man you're basically going to get the Game Boy Color versions of it so overall um, the controls are fairly responsive and the sound is good and the screen is excellent on this so that's really good that they've given you quite a lot of uh, games to play with. So now the other feature that makes this definitely worthwhile, apart from the fact that it's got um, quite a number of games built in, but not 188 like it says, is the fact that it takes Game Boy Color cartridges. Now I don't own actually many Game Boy cartridges at all. In fact I've only got one, which is this one here, which is basically Asterix Obelix. Um, and I basically borrowed this from a friend because I've never really had the Game Boy Color. So we're going to see if this actually works. So I'll put this in and switch it on and we'll see if we actually get the game itself come up. And yes, it works. So that's that's really a good plus that you can actually use the original cartridges in there as well. Having never played this game before, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, but Okay, so it's kind of a platformy type game. Absolutely terrible at it because I've never really played it before, but at least it plays the games that you, you've got on your old cartridges. That's a really good plus. Well, there you go. There's my quick look at a Game Boy Color um, clone portable device. And overall, I recommend this. It's really good. It's got some reasonably decent games built into it, um, although not 188 like it says, but probably about a about a hundred I suppose and then the fact that you can actually put um, original cartridges in there like that makes it even better so overall this is definitely a worthwhile package and if you're into retro gaming and you want something and something like myself who never really experienced the Game Boy this is a good option anyway I'm Justin and as always thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel